Who is Jesus? The name Jesus basically means salvation and that is the whole purpose he came to this earth. The word God is a title just like man as there are many, today all authority has been given to him by the Father. Jesus is primarily the word of Yahweh slash Jehovah God to man. Jesus is the son of man although he had no biological father from this earth. All of God beings or heavenly creatures whether in the heaven or earth, started as a humble beginning, because all live in God and originated in God, Jesus himself live in God, John 14 11 believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. This is where the born again comes in related to Jesus as he was in existence before he came to this earth. In the beginning God created many heavens and earth, Genesis 2 1 thus the heavens and the earth, and all the host of them, were finished. The Bible is clear about Jesus past in the heavens and present. Revelation 19.13 clearly identify Jesus as the word of God in past and present heavenly setting. He was clothed with a robe, and his name is called the word of God. John 1.1 1, 1 clearly shows that the word was with God in the heavens, in the beginning of this earth and the making of this earth and earth's heaven. The whole chapter of Genesis 1 in Hebrew used the word Elohim which mean plural gods, Yahweh and Jesus, during of the preparation of this earth. The word Elohim appears 2598 times in the Hebrew interlinear number 420 whereas the word Yahweh appears 6220 times, number 3068 Jehovah slash Yahweh is the one stretches out the heavens and the laid the foundation of this earth. Zechariah 12 1 thus says the Lord, who stretches out the heavens, laid the foundation of the earth, and forms the spirit of man within him. The other God the word who makes up Elohim makes all physical things in earth's heaven on this earth. Genesis chapter 1 also identifies at 1 John 1 1 to 3. The I'm at the end of Elohim means plural gods. The word Yahweh slash Jehovah first mentioned in the second chapter of Genesis in the Hebrew Bible. Who is this other God apart from Yahweh? Proverbs 8 33, 31 when he marked out the foundations of the earth. 30 then I was beside him as a master craftsman, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. Interestingly, the name Jehovah slash Yahweh starts at the second chapter of Genesis. What the above telling us, there was more than one God responsible for the making and preparing of this earth. Proverbs 8.22 identified this one as the other God. Who is the other God? Hebrew 1.2 has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the world, God made the world through Jesus. John 1.10 he was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. Even today most of the world doesn't know him. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that were made. Hebrew 1 2 has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the world. Colossians 1 16 and 17, all things were created through him and for him. 7 and he is before all things, and in him all things consist. 1 Corinthians 8 6 and there is but one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things came and through whom we exist. John 1 1 in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. 2 He was in the beginning with God. 3 All things were made through Him and without Him nothing was made that were made. Philippians 2 6 Jesus was in the form of God in the heavens. Jesus had a glory while He was in God form. John 17 5 And now, O Father glorify me together with Yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world been. Jesus protect the Israelite on their journey while he was in God form, 1 Corinthians 10 4 and all drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. God has many sons, when the word only begotten is used it really mean unique begotten. There are only two uniquely or only begotten son mentioned in the Bible, Jesus and Isaac. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only, uniquely, begotten or uniquely begotten son. Hebrews 11.17 By faith Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac, 
and he who had received the promises offered up his only begotten or, uniquely, son. Jesus and Isaac are uniquely or only begotten sons, why unique? Jesus born of a woman without male, similar like Isaac he was conceived when Sarah female eggs were exhausted at her age. Only begotten slash unique begotten. In the history of this universe, Jesus as a spirit being or the word was first mentioned in the Bible at Job 38 7. As a son of God, when the foundation of the earth being put in place, all the sons of God were there. He being a son of God Job 38 7 and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Proverbs 8 22 to 31 is a reference from Job 38 7, John 1 1 to 3, also is a reference from Proverbs 8 22 to 31. Proverbs 8.22 mentioned how Jesus came into existence. He had a greater glory before he came to this earth, John 17.5 and now, O Father glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world been. Jesus was a son of God or a spirit being in the heavens. Philippians 2, 7 but made himself of no reputation, and taking the form of a bond servant, and coming in the likeness of men. John 8:58 Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. He plays an active role on this earth, during the journey of the children of Israel. Jesus is the most versatile being in the history of the Bible in spirit and physical form, he has many names. Word, flesh, God, man, baby, eternal father, Messiah, commander of God army, son of God, Son of Man, IT. Us, Wisdom, Power of God, Lamb, in God form, Maker of all physical things, and the list goes on and on. Jesus is referred to as Son of Man while on earth, and during future heavenly events, reference is made, that he is a Son of Man although had no earthly father, Matthew 25 31. Matthew 11 13, when the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, and then he will sit on the throne of his glory. Jesus lowers himself as a physical human equal to Adam physical in every way including prune to sin and death. He was giving the name Jesus which basically means salvation a few months before his birth on earth about 2000 years ago. The father approved him as a son of God, again at baptism after emptying himself of that title in the heavens. The demons in Jesus' day identify him as a son of God as they once were also son of God while others were doubtful of Jesus' title as son of God while he was on earth. Matthew 8:29. And suddenly they cried out, saying, What have we to do with you, Jesus, you son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? No human in Jesus' days 2,000 years ago could ascended to heaven if that one did not came from the heavens. John 3.13 No one has ascended to heaven but he who came down from heaven, that is, the Son of Man, Jesus. No one has seen the Father except he who is from God, John 6.46 Not that anyone has seen the Father, except he who is from God, he has seen the Father. The Father loves Jesus before there was any earth. John 1.24 Father, for you loved me before the foundation of the world. When the earth preparation was completed for man, again reference was made of Jesus at Genesis 1:26. Then God said, Let us made man in our image and likeness. From the fact that all things are made through Jesus, not creates Colossians 1:15. He, Jesus, is the image of the invisible God. Thanks for watching like and subscribe. Chttp colon slash slash www.jehovatruekingdom.org for more information open for comments.